Mariama, Mariam, what else is our audience saying well, from your vantage point? Well, we'll move on to another posting from this time from Obedience David Palmer in Nigeria who writes, we tend to look at only the bright side. The march on Washington has not made any impact. Every day we hear of human rights violations. The problem with Africans is we are stuck with the idea of being inferior. But contrary to what Obedience says, Dang Makir from the University of Bahar al-Ghazal in, uh, in South Sudan expressed his view, saying Africans can manage themselves regardless of race ideology. We are capable of getting the job done like African Americans. Shaka, many decades of injustices can't be erased over just a few generations. There are still problems, not just with race issues, but gender, social, economic equalities as well. However, it is fair to say that America has come a long way with more hurdles still to clear. Thank you so much, Maria. Ma Okule, you definitely wanted to say something. Yes, you know, um, when, when we are talking about uh, the whole issue of uh, the foreign policy and how it uh, relates to Africa, um, in fact, the Africa Faith and Justice Network, the organization that I direct, is specifically in many ways focused on that U.S. policy towards Africa. And what we say, yes, sometimes these policies don't meet the ideal that we stand for here. But those policies actually do succeed because we have collaborators across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And we find even that, like uh, the president himself said in a speech in Ghana, that Africa does not need strong men, it needs strong societies. Strong institutions. It's strong institutions, yeah. On the contrary, sometimes, whether it be Museveni, or whether it be... Museveni of where? Yeah, of of Uganda. Uganda, Uganda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or whether it be the president of Rwanda, or whether it be, you know, some... Uh, what is his name? <laughs> Kagame, you know. <laughs> Major General Paul Kagame. Yes, you know. So you find key elements of people who do a bidding for us here, meaning in the U.S., that we allow them free hands in what they are doing, contradicting our own stand about the issues. So it is now, I, I strongly believe that the issue of governance have to, has to be transferred from the different presidential policies to the people. But uh, how do you do that? Okay, for example, you know, um, there are two things we, we see here. The Africa Faith and Justice Network has, is undertaking a program to what we call empower the people, you know, a democracy project where you go at the grassroots to tell the people they have every right as a guy sitting in the presidential palace right. that they can actualize themselves, that they can have the same uh, access to things and uh, just to let them know that the king is king because mm -hmm. of them. I see. You know. Terrific. Thanks, Mariama, for bringing us this week's audience reaction. Well, thanks to you, Shaka, and to all our viewers and listeners who take the time to write to us and make their voices heard. We absolutely love and love hearing from you. So drop us a line at africatv at voanews.com. Once again, for our radio listeners, our email address is africatv at voanews.com. Or post your comment on our Facebook page. Just enter the keywords, Straight Talk Africa. Be sure to visit us online at voaafrica.com. Or you can join our YouTube channel. Just subscribe to VOA TV to Africa. Now let's take a look at what's on tap for next week's program. Next week on Straight Talk Africa, we look at Ghana. The West African nation's Supreme Court is set to rule on an opposition challenge to last December's presidential election that was won by incumbent John Mahama. The outcome could have big implications for the nation where investor excitement over its strong economy is rising as the country's GDP is expected to grow by 8% this year. Opposition leader Nana Akufo-Addo is challenging the outcome of the poll claiming Mahama's slim 50.7% victory was tarnished by voter irregularities. That's next week, right here on Straight Talk Africa.
Well, that was, of course, my colleague, uh, Mariama Diara, a descendant of uh, Othman Don Fodio, the revolutionary reformer of the great Flan kingdoms in West Africa. What happened to Africa? It had great people like Othman Don Fodio. What happened? No, well, you see, the Africans have really mortgaged their dignity. I'm talking about the individuals. I'm well, talking about the leaders. Well, Tanzanian founding president, Julius Kambarage Nyerere, for yeah. example. Now, you see, what I say, I have said it to many Catholic friends. The Catholics have given us the best leaders and the worst leaders. You see, because the best leaders that came out of Africa, who retired peacefully and gracefully, Sengo of Senegal, you have continuity and change in Senegal. They have democracy, Sengo came and left. Then you have Julius Nyerere from East Africa. Unfortunately, we have many of these people, they overstay their plan. I have written positively about Mugabe of Zimbabwe, 